And let's hear it for ATI, a jewel in our crown. Uh, first of all, I just have to say, welcome to our house. This is where we hold council meetings. This is where decisions are made. And today, this is our house. This is, uh, this is where startups have come and taken over City Hall. I couldn't be more ecstatic about it. We made a lot of noise. We had, a lot of, we had the city manager and council members sniffing through, wondering what the heck was going on down here. And uh, I was just absolutely tickled pink. And I'm hoping our building manager uh, forgets uh, how much of a disruption it was by next year so he can do it again. Um, <laughs> But I am uh, Eve Richter, I am in our economic development division here. So it's my job to bring jobs and investment here to Austin. So I am kind of biased. Um, but I also run our emerging technologies program, which is designed to help technology companies. So I do help attract uh, large companies here like Facebook, like uh, eBay, PayPal, um, SunPower, companies that we're really proud to have. But I spend, thank you, I, please, Facebook, I was so tickled about that one. But I also spend the majority of my time working with startups, like y'all. We started this program about five years ago while I was still in school, and I went and interviewed all the other cities that were doing it right. At that time, we didn't have, weren't doing anything at all. So I wanted to see what did we already have, what were our assets, uh, what were the people who were doing it right doing, and what was the Austin fit. And I've spent four years putting that together. I was a startup myself. I started with zero budget. I didn't stay on zero budget for too long. but. Um, and uh, like Robert said, I am um, also, I like to say I'm not free, but I am paid for. So you've already paid for me, might as well take advantage. I like to say that I'm a cross between a business consultant, matchmaker, and cheerleader. So I'm available to you. You also have to buy your own coffee, but um, I do like to meet with you all and see how I can help. Um, for those of you who are my uh, newsletter readers, I put together uh, and are familiar with my seven step series. I, whatever it is, I jam it into seven. Uh, even if there's only three, or if they're 20, uh, just because it's branding and, you know, how that works. So I decided for my portion here that I would come up with my top seven reasons why your startup should locate here in Austin. Um, and my reasons are, I'm going to start at seven, just like David Letterman. I was going to go ahead and do the, the uh, index cards and throw them over my head, but I have no idea if they still make index cards or where I might find them. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we have any here. <laughs> uh, I do have paper still. Uh, so number seven, uh, quality of life. Uh, some of you may rank that higher. I certainly do. I'm both a Yankee and a Californian, and I fully intended to go back to California after grad school, but I couldn't leave. Um, of course, that summer wasn't as hot as this summer, but, you know, even with all that, we have Barton Springs. I've spent more time out at Barton Springs this year. One of my personal favorites, the food trucks. I love the food trucks. I just, I love that stuff. Uh, I love the people. I love the green or what used to be green, will be green again, I hope. Uh, music festivals, South By, ACL. I mean, there's a festival a week here. The chocolate festival's coming up, I'm pretty sure. I love that quality of life. Number six, outstanding natural assets. I mean, come on, Barton Springs, once again. Uh, we have 300 days of sunshine, which uh, usually, most of the time, is a good thing, uh, a selling point. I'm trying not to get people to come visit here this summer. Number five, I'm calling it interesting funding. All right, we don't have the VCs that they have, uh, as many of them as they have in the Bay Area, but we have the Emerging Technology Fund, which we still have managed to hold on to this year. That's kind of unique and pretty cool. It helps fund emerging technologies and help keep them here in Texas. We have the Central Texas Angel Network. We have uh, community-led uh, uh, groups like Capital Factory. I was so excited when they, they just created that from the ground up. So we have that kind of activity happening here. We have uh, funding forums. We have lots of funding forums, lots of opportunities to pitch and see funders. So uh, I love that we're, okay, we're not traditional. Okay, maybe you might have to get money somewhere else, but we do have interesting funding. I think that's cool. Um, education. I mean, you can't beat having a, something like UT here in Austin. I mean, the, for the research, for the, the cool stuff that they put out, like ATI, like, uh, the business school here that puts out Moo Corp, so many cool stuff, uh, so much cool stuff coming out of there. Uh, the low cost of doing business. I mean, let's face it, uh, we're all a little bit cheaper here. I mean, that's not great to us, but we can afford to do it because it costs less to live here. I sold my house for, you know, 300 something in Sacramento. I could have bought three houses for that here. So, um, and it hasn't gone up that much. Number two, the talent. Come on, you guys are awesome. Uh, we have some of the best talent here coming out of the best schools, and we import it. People are happy to move here. Uh, 
you know, if we don't have it, we'll grow it, we'll get it, we'll steal it, we'll buy it, whatever. But people like to come here. It's really easy to attract and recruit to Austin. I find that with companies that I'm talking to when they come here, if they can't hire people that are already here, they have zero trouble. You know, they're like, they can get anybody to move here because it's such a great place to be. And number one has to be the amazing startup community. The generosity of spirit. I love that even young, struggling startups are as interested in the success of the community and their peers as they are in their own companies. And I think the importance of that cannot be understated. We help each other. When I ask somebody to mentor another company, nobody says no. They're really happy to help. And I don't think it's because they're afraid of me. What am I going to do? I think people really want to help each other. And I think I love that community. I love that community spirit. I'm so fortunate to, to work among you every day.